Consolidating projects and resources. We're going to talk about pooling resources, consolidating project plans and assignments so that they can be shared with other projects. Part of successful project management is also time management, and you'll find that these features of project enable you to operate more efficiently, stay more organised and save time, as well as headaches. In project, a resource pool can mean one of two things. It can be resources that are bundled as a group and assigned to a project, or it can mean a group of resources that are created and made accessible to anyone who has access to your company's server. In this section of the lesson, we're going to focus on the second definition and how to learn how to create a resource pool that you and others can access. However, before we delve into creating a resource pool, we need to discuss a few terms that you need to know in order to be able to understand how to add to or access resources in the resource pool. The first term is resource pool project. A resource pool project is the term used for the project that will share or add resources within the pool. If you add resources from your current project to the pool, the project that you will add resource to is the resource pool project. The other term is sharer. A project that accesses and uses resources from the resource pool is the sharer project. Creating a resource pool is very easy and not nearly as complicated as it sounds. You can create a resource pool using a blank project and adding resources to it. Do this using the resource sheet. So go to File, and then click on the New button, then click on Blank Project. Now click on the Resource Sheet, and as we've learned earlier, add a few resources to this sheet. Next, save this to a location that those who will use the resources in their own projects can access. Click on File, and Save As. For this example, I'm just going to save it to my OneDrive. I'm going to call the project pool. You'll want to save this file as a name everyone will recognise. This is now your resource pool project file. Anyone who can access this file can use the resources in their own projects. These projects that access the pool will be the sharer projects, or sharer files. Now let's learn how to access resources in a resource pool. Open the resource pool file and the sharer project. Let's go back to the other project and use that as a sharer project. In the sharer project, go to the resource tab and under resource pool, click on share resources. The share resources dialog box now appears. Select if you want your own resources or use resources from another open pool. Click on this option and then select the project that you're using the resources from. Next, decide what you want to occur if a conflicting resource setting exists, such as the resource base calendar. If you want your project settings to take precedence, choose Sharer takes precedence. Click OK. The resources from your resource pool project will now appear in your Sharer project. If you want to update resource information in the resource pool to reflect changes, such as in cost, go to the resource tab, and another resource pool, click on refresh resource pool if it appears. You can also update assignments and tasks in your sharer file, or the project that's sharing files with the resource pool. To do this, go to the View tab, and click on Resource Usage. You can then update the assignments. You can also update time phased, scheduled, or actual work by updating in the Resource Usage and Task Usage views. When you finish making updates, go to the Resource tab, and under the Resource pool, go to Update Resource pool. When you disconnect the sharer file from the pool, the sharer file retains all assignments and tasks. However, your sharer file will lose the resources. For this reason, create dummy resources for any resources that you want to keep in your sharer file and copy the resource information. Once you disconnect from the resource file, you can rename the resources. To consolidate projects means to take several projects and combine them into one to create a master project. At that point, all of the projects that you inserted into the master project become sub-projects. To consolidate projects, open the project that you want to use as a master project. Then go to the Gantt chart view. Click on a task name. You should click the row below where you want to insert another project. This means a new project will be inserted in the row above where you click. Go to the project tab and click on sub project. You'll now see this dialog box. Find the project that you want to insert and then click on insert.